What is going on guys? Joe here with redmanpie.com and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3. Now this new jailbreak release is actually the English version of the Pangu jailbreak tool and it's quite simple to do but you have to be aware that there are some things to do beforehand. First you have to make sure you have a 64-bit compatible device as this jailbreak tool is only compatible with those devices. So ranging from the iPhone 5S all the way up to the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and including the iPhone SE. Along with that you also have the iPad Air 1 and 2, the iPad Pros and also the iPad Mini 2, 3 and 4 and lastly the iPod Touch 6th generation. So if you have any of these 64-bit devices you will be able to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 Unfortunately, if you have anything older, including the iPhone 4, 4S, and 5, and 5C, you will not be able to jailbreak. There's no telling if there will be a jailbreak for 32-bit devices, but do stay tuned to the channel. If there is, we will definitely make a video covering that. But the next step is to be updated to the latest firmware, which is going to be 9.3.3. So if you're not up to date to the latest firmware, I definitely recommend doing so because there's no reason not to be updated because it's now jailbreakable and it also fixes bugs and things like that. So you're going to have a more stable device if you have the up to date firmware. So definitely upgrade to 9.3.3 if you're not already. So after you have your device updated to the latest firmware, go ahead and open up iTunes. We will need to make sure you back up your device because if there's anything that goes wrong, you will still have that data backed up. So plug in your device and open up iTunes and hit back up. Now, once your device is backed up, we are ready to proceed to the next step, which is going to the Pangu website. So simply go to en.pangu.io. This is going to be the English version of the Pangu jailbreak. Once you are there, navigate down here to where it says download and help. Here you're going to have the jailbreak guide. It's very easy to do. First you need to download the tool here which says download. So go ahead and click on download. This is going to be the IPA file that we'll need to install. Once that is downloaded we'll also need to download the Cydia Impactor tool which is shown here. Just simply navigate to cydiaimpactor.com and this is the screen that you will get. Now this is going to be available for Mac, Windows, Linux, 32-bit, and 64-bit. So if you have any of those operating systems, you are good to go. I'm actually doing this on a Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on Mac OS 10, And that's going to give me the DMG file of Impactor, of City Impactor. And we are pretty much set to go. So we can go ahead and open up City Impactor, which is going to be this DMG file. And we can go ahead and click and drag this into the Applications folder. And I already have that already installed on my computer. So I'll go ahead and launch Impactor here. And here's going to say that you downloaded this from the internet. So we'll go ahead and trust this by hitting Open. And this is going to be City Impactor. So make sure your device is plugged into your computer and that City Impactor does detect your device. Once your device is detected on this top little tab here, we'll need to drag and drop the IPA file, which is going to be the NVWA Stone 1.0. So go ahead and click and drag that over to City Impactor. And then here it's going to ask you for your iTunes email login, so your Apple ID. And that's only because it needs to install a certain certificate to your device. And the only way to do so is to log in through your Apple ID and password. Now Soric, which is the developer of City Impactor and is well known in the jailbreak community, does state that City Impactor does not collect any of your Apple ID and password information. So it's only used to apply a personal and free certificate from Apple. So if you are cool with that, go ahead and use your current Apple ID and password. But if you're kind of iffy about this, go ahead and make a dummy Apple ID if you want to do that. And then use that Apple ID in place of your actual Apple ID in case you're kind of worried about any information uh, being collected. But like I said, Soric does say that Cine Impactor does not collect any Apple ID or password information. So it's just simply to use it to apply a personal free certificate from Apple in order to proceed with the jailbreak and for it to fully work. Now speaking about certificates, the Apple ID can only apply for a certificate for a limited number of devices. So be aware of that. And also this certificate will expire seven days after you install it. That means you will have to re-jailbreak every seven days, which is unfortunate. But if your Apple ID is registered to a developer membership, 
you actually don't have to worry about it for a full year. So in a full year, you will have to jailbreak again if you please. So if your Apple ID is not registered to a developer account, you will have to jailbreak again every seven days. But if it's registered to a developer account, you don't have to worry about it for a full year. But going back to Cydia Impactor, go ahead and type in your Apple ID and password or your dummy Apple ID if you made one. And then after that, you will get this warning right here, basically saying if you have any certificates already assigned to your device, this would overwrite that. So it may cause issues with your workflow if you are an Apple developer. So if you're an Apple developer, I'll be cautious about this. If not, go ahead and hit continue or okay here. Now, once that is completed, we can go to our device. And then once we scroll over to the left, we'll see the Pangu application. This application will simply tap on it. And then it's gonna say that it's an untrusted developer. What we need to do is simply go into the settings, go back into the settings here and go back, go to general, scroll down to where it says device management. Under the device management, you'll see your Apple ID. So once you see your Apple ID, that's a good sign. Go ahead and tap on that. And then we'll hit trust this Apple ID. So we'll tap on that and then hit trust. And that is pretty much it. Now we can exit out of that, go back to the Pangu application and then tap on that. Now here you will hit okay. Be sure to hit okay for the notifications from the Pangu application. So now all you gotta do is hit start. So press start here. It's gonna say to please lock your device or go to the lock screen. So lock your device. We'll wait a few seconds and then it'll say jailbreak succeeded, but still needs a few moments to respring. Just wait till it resprings. This is just pretty much a waiting game. And once it resprings, you will notice that we have Cydia. So once your device has resprung, we can go ahead and unlock it. And then we scroll over and you will notice Cydia. So that is a good sign. You will notice, of course, scrolling down, it does say that I'm jailbroken on 9.3.3. .3. So now you are fully jailbroken. Now there is something to note as well, is that this is a semi-untethered jailbreak. Basically meaning every time you reboot your device or your battery dies, you will need to jailbreak once again. And the way to do that is actually very simple. So I'm gonna show you real quick by powering down my device, what happens when you boot it back up. Now, once your device is booted up, we'll go ahead and unlock it. And we scroll over and try to open up Cydia. Now you will notice that Cydia just crashes and doesn't open up. So yeah, that, that's what happens when your device, either your battery dies or you need to restart the phone for some reason. Now, the way to fix that is very simple. Click on the Pangu app here, and then pretty much we'll re jailbreak kind of like what we did right now. So hit start and then lock your device. Once your device is locked, it will say the jailbreak succeeded, but still needs a few moments or a few minutes to respring. So your device will respring now once again. So once it has resprung, we can go ahead and slide to unlock and then try to open up Cydia again, and you will see that Cydia now is working once again. So that is how you fix that issue. If your battery ever dies, or if you need to restart your phone for some reason, um, in order to get Cydia working again, all you gotta do is open up the Pangu app, hit start, and then lock your device. Very simple jailbreak, but as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is gonna last you only seven days, so you will have to go ahead and re-jailbreak using Cydia Impactor and then just drag and dropping the IPA tool. And then you have to jailbreak one more time. So every seven days, you will have to do that process each and every time. It's unfortunate, but that is the way to actually do it using the English version of Pangu. Now, if your Apple ID is registered to a developer account, you actually have access to it for a full year. So you don't have to do that again or re jailbreak for another full year. But other than that, that's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, let us know if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out by hitting that like button down below. And if you're not yet following us on social media, go ahead and do so. All the links are down below in the description. That way you can be up to date with the latest jailbreaks and the latest tutorials and all that good stuff. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time we release a new video. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and this is Joel with RedmanPie.com, and I'll catch you all on the next one.